This video will demonstrate how you can DIY a succulent bouquet on a wine bottle. First, you have to prepare a, about 15 inches um, twine. Pick a thicker twine so um, that can be a structure of the bouquet. Then now um, prepare a wine bottle just uh, for you to test, um, put it on. The next thing you will need is a floral wire. And the floral wire, I prefer um, the same color as the twine. Next thing, of course, um, it will be the uh, succulents that you prefer. And I choose the Aeonium Arboreum because they are very easy to manage, um, not so easy to break off. So this is where I found the, uh, the two-headed one, um, which I think uh, uh, the shape would be just perfect for the bouquet. I also choose the um, elephant bushes, uh, um, two of them, and uh, they can also be uh, like the tails on the bottom of the bouquet. You will also need a glue gun a pair of scissors okay and the appropriate length um, of a uh, floral wire so we have to prepare the twine you tie them together like um, what the picture is showing um, make sure they are sturdy enough because we're going to build um, the succulents on top of it when you are picking up uh, this type of the type of succulents, make sure they are not those fragile ones, which uh, when you are building them, they uh, they are not so easy to uh, break off. Now we are testing um, this uh, um, twine to make sure that the size is what we wanted. And uh, so uh, when you put the entire bouquet on um, they should be uh, perfectly fit then uh, we need some moss and those um, you can pick um, your own favor so now we are going to start um, put this put the succulents on making a succulent bouquet um, it's uh, kind of different from those regular floral bouquets um, it's a little um, difficult to make and a little time consuming because you're going to tie them on, uh, make sure they are secure enough because um, most of the succulents are a little bit heavy. Um, so you need to make adjustment on every step along. <music>
first major part is done. Now we need to do some reinforcement. Not like others. I don't like to pull through the plants. So you only see me doing wiring up. When you do so, be sure to have the plants securely tightened on the twine. I prefer to cut the succulent stems to no more than an inch and a half long. That way the entire bouquet is nicely laid on the bottle and not sticking out. The normal floral bouquet needs a piece of sponge to hold moisture for the flowers. You often can see the sponge when you are handling the bottle. The succulent bouquet can eliminate the problem. And it can last much longer than the regular floral bouquet. We're now almost done for the upper part of the bouquet. Then we'll be working on the two tails, which uh, you can also call it the ribbon. Then the moss will follow after that. The purpose of the moss is not just for decoration. It also helps if you want them to root. You can see I used the hot glue on the stems and the floral wire just to be sure that they hold together 100%.
Now the bouquet is finally done. If you want to keep it alive in between or after use, you can spray the moss on the back of the bouquet. Place it on top of a container with water like the picture show. Spray once a week and fill the water in the container if the water goes low. Hope you like today's tutorial. Hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you the next one.